team that will meet the winner of our current game in tomorrow's televised championship matchup. Well, they're out there, and here we go. It's time to get back to ball at the Triple Crown Fireworks and Sparkler in Aurora, Colorado. Thad Anderson, Christy Ambrosi, and Monica Abbott with you. From the booth, Heather Pink is probably a little bit soggy, but she's still working those dugouts and bleachers for us, and we'll try to check in with Heather in the next short amount of time here to get a feel for what things are like down on the field, but we'll get back to action now as the Miners Gold have the bats and they're up by three. And we've got Casey Maddox in the box with one out and a 2-2 two -two count. Tough spot, yeah, step back tough. into a 2-2. Two -two. Tough spot, you know, you expect Katie Marks out here to come out aggressive. She had a rough couple innings right leading up to this game, leading up to this <coughs> inning right here. And I expect her to come out and really be focused and start this game off fresh again. The Miners Gold trying to pump it up and get back into game mode. Here's a 2-2 pitch. That ball is hit up the middle. Good swing, and that will get through the dirt onto the grass. A base hit for Casey Mattis. And with one out, a runner on for Miners Gold. And again, you can see they're just putting the ball where the defense isn't. I mean, and it's amazing. you got nine people out there. And I don't know how many times they've done this today, but they keep finding those holes right on the lip of the grass. Yeah, and she just got a slightly under, underneath that ball, just was able to lift it right, just barely, and still, again, a little bit of a jam job, but was able to get her hands through that ball enough to lift it out over the second base. Just had a good look inside the face mask of Casey Matos, who's at first base, and now that thorn in the side of the impact gold defense Mackenzie Long. Yeah, what a great game she's been having today. She wants to be in the FBI. I think that's pretty cool. Here's a ball knocked into center field and that is caught for the second out of this interrupted inning. So two down now and her, in the top of the six. On that last, when she went up to bat, she didn't slap, but she kind of did what uh, Vicki Galindo, I call it, just like a two or three step, step up and hit. Yeah, it walk through, yeah. power slap. Yeah, kind of. exactly. So they don't quite know if she's going to slap or swing or hit. It's just they see her feet moving, but they can't charge because she can also swing the bat. There's a strike delivered to our batter, Dakota Matico, plays first base for the defense of Miners Gold and now swinging the bat one for two today with a single and a run knocked in. This ball is hit to third, picked up cleanly and thrown cleanly. Good play. Well, Impact Gold does it right. They come off that delay. They get off the field pretty quickly, and they'll have the bats with a three-run deficit and two more rounds to go. A seven-inning game. We're in the bottom of the six when we come back on CBS Sports Network. Golden Corral, the restaurant that brought you... To the bottom of the sixth inning in Aurora at the Triple Crown Sparkler Fireworks Power Pool Semifinal. Miners gold up by three. Let's check in with the soggy Heather Pink. Well, talk about distractions. Not only is it raining, there's a little bit of wind. The dirt, well, it's not that great. And th the grass is super slippery. So these girls have to watch out, watch what they're doing. You know, base softball is one thing, but they have to focus also on the weather conditions. So it's going to be a rough couple innings. Heather didn't look that soggy. You got the umbrella. She actually looked <laughs> yeah. pretty good. Hair, I don't know what hair, she's talking hair about. sticking together. And, uh, <laughs> nice work, Heather. You've managed well through the process here. Well, thanks. I uh, I managed to, uh, one of the moms gave me one because I, I was soggy for a while. <laughs> <laughs> we go to the bottom of the sixth inning and just two more cracks at it for the impact gold. They yeah. trail by three runs and they've got their number three hitter, Reagan Bunker, who has homered in this game and also singled as three RBI of the four runs scored for the impact gold. She has a chance to put a dent in that three run deficit. There's that change up again. She's coming right out of the gate with it. She's gonna show it, make them think about it a little bit, put, plant that seed. Yeah, and in this situation, you really want to go, you know, it's starting to rain. What you really want to do as a pitcher is you want to go out at these at these batters. You want to pound the zone and make them swing and hopefully try and get top fly out or keep the ball in the infield. The last thing you want is a ground ball into the outfield, okay? And then as a player, the most important thing there is to, when you are fielding, see the ball deep into the glove and then making sure that you really get a good grip on the ball. Use those things. Right. And this is a time where your strategy might change of, okay, instead of trying to, to get them to hit it on the ground in the infield, let's just get them to pop it up because then, the, you know, 
the grip on the ball doesn't even matter. I just right. gotta catch it. That's all I gotta do. Third hit of the game for Reagan Bunker and Reagan hustling down the line to beat the throw from right field. Good job of coming up firing from right field for the defense of the Miners goal. That was Raylene Palin, but just a half a step late. Third hit of the game, and now a runner stepping onto the field. Morgan Herzog, who has done some running for the catcher, Reagan Bunker, in this game.